Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to learn how to log to the console in Solidity with Hardhat. Thanks to Hardhat, you can use console.log in Solidity just like you could in JavaScript. You can only do this with Hardhat. So let's go into our Solidity contract, my contract.solidity. And here, let's learn how we can log to the console. So at the top of our file, we are going to import hardhat slash console dot solidity. This will allow us to do the logging. Then anywhere that we want to log a message to the console, we can just call console.log. For example, in the constructor, we can call console.log and log out the name of our contract which is passed in as a variable to the constructor. All right, so here we can see we have console.log. Now, if we want to see this message logged, we're going to go into the terminal or command line application. Inside of our project folder, we're going to call npx hardhat test. This is going to compile the contract and run our test. And we can see here that we are compiling two files, compilation finished successfully, contract name, my contract name, should return correct name and symbol. So here, this is where we saw the name being logged out. Let's go ahead and show some more values, like we can call console.log. This is the NFT symbol, and then we can pass in here the symbol. Then I'm going to save the file and back in the terminal I'm going to call npx hardhat test again. We'll compile the file and we'll see name and then we'll see this is the NFT symbol MCN. We can also log out other properties of the contract, anything that your contract inherits. We can see in our contract, our NFT contract is an ERC721, the standard template for an NFT. So we can access properties from the NFT. For example, we could access the message.sender, the address that initially deploys the contract. So even though it's not in the constructor, we can still call console.log message.sender and then show the actual value. So now we can save that file and call npx hardhat test again. And this time we will see the message.sender. We have this address appear, and this is the address that initially deployed the contract. Being able to log is going to provide you a simple way to debug your projects because you can now check out values in Solidity. Now this is not 100% fully the same as console.log in JavaScript. For example, hardhat console only supports several data types, uint, string, boolean, and address. But regardless, you can still have a lot of help for debugging even with just that. Coming up next, we're going to learn how to deploy our contract to a local blockchain network. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.